As a landlord, by the way, options give you zero benefit. All options do is they provide the tenant the opportunity to stay there should they so desire, but they can say no, they can leave. So I don't like options as a landlord. Mm -hmm. As a tenant, I would like options, obviously. Those are all very important. And then another variable that's going to be important is who is signing on the lease, right? I've seen guarantees of CVS Woodward LLC or CVS Detroit LLC. An owner might think they're getting a corporate guarantee when really they're getting a small entity guarantee that has only five stores. So that's going to be very important. Who is signing on the lease? And then this doesn't always come into play, especially not with the national retailers, but with the smaller tenants, it does. Is there a personal guarantee? And if so, what is that individual's net worth? Do I have a personal financial statement that shows me what their net worth is? Do I have documents that confirm that and validate and back that up? So that's all going to be very important. And then obviously, depending on how the lease is structured, you know, you're know, you going to want to negotiate, is this an absolute triple net lease or is the tenant not willing to pay for roof and structure? What about HVAC? Again, absolute triple net lease, none of this applies. It's all on the tenant. But if you're dealing with a, a double net lease or something like that, you know, what about HVAC? Does the tenant have to repair the HVAC, but the landlord has to replace it. These are all little nuances that, that definitely need to be negotiated.